Hey guys, what's up? It's Clary Berry. I'm here today to do a divine feminine reading for you guys. So welcome. I'm so glad you guys are here. I've got the Crystal Visions deck here and I've also got some Angel Oracle cards. So I'm going to give these a shuffle or two and then we're going to jump right in. Welcome to all. I hope you're doing amazing. I hope you're learning the lessons that are being presented to you so that you can keep on moving fluidly through, you know, through your lessons and get, get the good and move on. So let's go ahead and jump right in here without further ado. Prioritize. Been getting this lately. The energies, the energies are telling us something as a collective. Focus on your highest priorities. I will help you get organized and motivated. Archangel Metatron. I will help you get organized and motivated. I don't know. I'm feeling that as a divine feminine. I am definitely feeling that energy right now. Okay. Your highest priorities, the very highest ones. Don't think you're less than, don't think you can't do it. Don't think you're cut off in any way, because if it's in your heart, if it's important to you, this is what you're meant for. Okay. This is what it's about. So just did a no communication reading a couple of days ago so check that out if you missed it and of course I am doing all of the signs and then I also do personal readings so keep that in mind okay we've been waiting on change waiting on change but be careful because it might just come really fast and soon is kind of what we have the um eight of wands here in reverse so it's either coming, this new change is going to come in like a steamroller. That's what I'm feeling because you're jumping in, because you're jumping in and doing the work to get the high priestess on the divine feminine card is absolutely wonderful. Again, it's very important and it might not be quite, you might not be quite there yet. Okay. These are both of these energies, a lot of movement, a lot of growth, a lot of transformation. You are definitely on the path to becoming the high priestess, um, and in your relationship as well, you know, but I feel like they're a little bit more, you know, uh, tweaks, more things need to be changed. And that has to do with your inner personal strength in your relationship. Okay. A lot of times as divine feminines, we give our strength away. We are so excited. We are so dr drawn in by the pull, which we feel. And not only do we feel it because your twin flame feels it too, but we understand it. We intuitively have a sense of what it means. And it's not as scary and frightening and making us want to run as it is for the DEF. And we have to remember that we are blessed in that way. Um, and that's why we go through a lot of the collective, you know, types of, you know, cliche types of things that we go through, you know, and it's very common for us, you know, to be stuck in that um, kind of codependent energy where we just want, want, want. We, we really feel that pull, but a twin, that's not what being a twin flame is about. Yes, we're sharing, you know, we're, we're so close to somebody, you know, our souls are, are in a sense merged. Um, but that doesn't mean that you need to live codependently on this lifestyle. And I think these things get, it's one of those things, like I always talk about that people just, they talk about, they talk about, they allude to it. They'll give you a little bit of info about it, but then they don't necessarily give enough strong enough warnings or clarify what they're saying. And so I think for, for, for now, you know, for this video, that's kind of part of what we're doing here is making this clarification that, you know, even though you are, you know, and you may like the visualization or the language of sharing a soul, um, or not, but regardless that general idea, whatever language you want to use, um, it is affected by this. And we need to kind of remember that it doesn't mean that we need to, um, give in on any way, shape or form. It doesn't mean that we need to overcompensate. It doesn't mean that, you know, we have to be with that person at all times. In fact, separation is healthy separation during toxic times and setting boundaries is extremely beneficial for the twin flames for both of the twin flames. But it has to a lot of times be done by the divine feminine who knows the who knows the and really gets the relationship gets the the not necessarily even the purpose because a lot of times we're just going through it we just get the connection you know and as we understand as we grow we're learning we do more research and we watch more videos and all of this stuff 
read more programs, you know, we come into this knowledge and understanding and it enlightens our passion even more. And then we go within and we do the inner healing work. And then you really become this more, much more strong, you know, person like the strength card, you know, where this is, you have this control over yourself, over your, your actions, over your mentality, over your life, you're aligned, you're doing the work and you're getting the good out of it. And you're coming into your divine sovereignty because the divine sovereignty has to do with knowing that, yes, you are a d twin flame. You do have say, um, situations where you are coming together you know, and merging these, these, um, things. But the problem is, is we don't need to be desperate with that energy in any way, shape or form. Okay. So what we need to do is again, work on ourselves and worry on our, on ourselves and not really necessarily focus on everybody else and what they're doing and, you know, make time for yourself give the things that you would want to receive to yourself, you know, from that you would want to receive from your person, give those to yourself. And again, don't be knocking yourself out and overcompensating in any way. You know, your person is a, they're an adult. They're a big, they're a big adult person here. You know, they can take care of themselves. Sometimes there's that overbearing, mothering, codependent energy that is not, where you want to get sucked into. You don't want to, again, go out of your way to make sure that somebody else is doing the basic things of their life, especially if you're not going to give yourself that time. You are you show others how to act. And when you're taking care of yourself, then you're simply showing others how to take care of their selves. Okay? So, um, moving on to the Seven of Pentacles energy here. Okay? Not sure if that cop was coming around to check on me or not. <laughs> you kind of threw me off there for a second. I was like, okay. So we have seven of pentacles. And this is what we're kind of moving. We're kind of, everything I've said thus far, we're kind of understanding, coming into, focusing on, again, this waiting for this new this new movement to come in, these things to change, you know, this passion to kind of heat up a little bit more because we've been focused so much on our inner healing work that we haven't really had a lot of movement on the outer, you know, sometimes it's back and forth, give and take, you know, sometimes there'll be a lot of movement and, you know, for now we've been kind of in this inner and we're in Scorpio sun. So it's like this kind of going really deep and healing a lot of this stuff and doing these transformations and coming into our own strength. We may be setting boundaries. You know, I feel like over this whole entire fall, um, it's kind of been like that, you know, it's a little give and take and, you know, it may just be a lot of stuff going on, a lot of busyness, a lot of not, I'm seeing that in a lot of my readings, you know, this is, you know, you're waiting for the passion, but it's also like a distraction that you've just got so much, you just got to wait until the dust settles in order to really come back and see your partner. But the good, good news is I don't think we're going to have to wait very much longer. I think this week and moving into next week, we're going to, have some things kind of change in this type of an energy of this kind of waiting and waiting for, you know, the passion to turn back on and the, you know, the good times to start rolling again. Okay. So, and it, it's, it's this coming of the outwards of the energy. It's like that pendulum is swinging again, you know, from the inner to the outer. And now that it's almost like, again, I'm getting this feeling and I got this in a reading too, not too long ago. Um, we're, you're, when you come back together with your person, you're going to like almost be meeting each other again because that's how much you guys have been changing. Okay. So throw away any expectations, you know, uh, kind of use this as a time to, again, do a little review, you know, on what has been going on with you and what has been, what changes you've been making, you know, what changes you would still like to make. Um, it's just like a little reprieve, you know, to be able to kind of gather, boost yourself, kind of get those, nutrients up, so to speak, get that, um, pampering up, get that love, loving yourself up. And, you know, that goes definitely deeper here into the really doing some shadow work and understanding why things happened as they did. I'm really seeing this as a review the past in order to kind of full circle, come 
to the next level at the very possible best place that you can. Okay. So again, take stock of everything you've done, everything, every blessing, every, um, improvement, you know, every outward, you know, gesture, communication, ex um, like receiving of messages, receiving of, like I said, any kind of blessing, just hang on to that and hold it. It's like meditate on it, hold it in your mind's eye. And just, it'll, it'll have to get you through until this kind of period of, you know, almost boredom, you know, this period of too busy, you know, boredom, not being able to see your person, not being able to see them as much as you want, or, you know, really, even if you are seeing each other, then maybe that this like level of things that is just not, you're not hitting that level of, you know, passion or, or depth or something that you would necessarily want to, you know what I mean? Things just might be a little weird and just a little bit, you know, hangman energy for a minute, you know, not that we're getting that card, but I'm feeling like that's kind of what this pause is. And just knowing that it's going to start back up again, like things, things are going to pick back up again, but the best thing you can do now, kind of while you're waiting again to see your person is to get as much shadow work as humanly possible in before you know before you see them again because again that's only going to help this idea of the next time you see them again so much is going to be changed with you and your passions are going to be different you're going to be this deep mysterious goddess on an even deeper level than you already are and your passion not only for your mission and what you're doing with your life um and for yourself and of course going through with your twin flames as well you know this is definitely um, going to be, I don't want to say a surprise or a jolt, but they're going to notice, you know, your part, your person's going to notice. And I feel like you're probably going to also notice the uh, same things, you know, some changes with them as well. So that's very exciting, you know, to be able to see that transformation. And so you're going to kind of be on the lookout for things. Um, even though, again, you may not be seeing them, but if you're texting them, if you're calling them, you know, just hearing different um, words from them, different things, you know, just like keep an eye out for any of those positive reinforcements that you can kind of draw on to raise your energy regarding this. So you don't get too worried or out of balance. You know, it's kind of all just about keeping this balance until, you know, the next, um, the next kind of big push movement forward comes through, if that makes sense. And right now it is a good time to kind of deal with these intellectual ideas of how we're seeing, you know, our, our twin flame, um, what we're, you know, what, what we believe to be the purpose, you know, of the twin flame situation and all of that, like your future goals in Aquarius right now, we're, we're in Aquarius moon until Tuesday at 6 PM. So we still got quite a bit of this time left. And I really feel like this is what's coming through, um, for the divine feminine is that this is a time where yes, we are going to go into our own, but as you're doing that and your person's going to be doing it too, um, on some level, shape or form, they may not know what it's called, the shadow work, you know, the, the inner child healing, but if you are going to do it, if you are going to show up, you know, you, again, this is setting this boundary saying, you know, I, I may not want to rush out and see you this week because I'm too busy or because I'm doing this shadow work and I just want to get a little bit deeper before we come together again, you know, and you don't even have to explain all of that. You know, again, you're busy is a good enough excuse or, or, you know, things like this. It's again, just a good time to, you know, kind of wrap our mind around this, this change and brainstorm this change and learn and get more knowledgeable and, um, you know, read and study and, and watch these videos and just kind of nail it into existence just a little bit more. Take it from that idea and nurture it with these beliefs and then figure out how you can improve upon the plan and the situation and your idea. Because remember, it's so important how we fully think and believe is always going to be the first step. So that's why clearing this stuff out, you know, for both you and your person, you know, seeing basically you're looking at um, some of the barriers that kept you apart in the past and that are keeping you in the present and figuring out, you know, how maybe we can overcome these or, you know, again, just new ideas of some kind of, there's some kind of progress that you guys are, are being able to start to brainstorm about. Okay. So that's kind of what it is. So use this time of abundance and good feelings. You know, I feel like it's not a big dramified time right now. 
you know, we still may be processing things from the past, things from the summer, nailing again, kind of nailing them into place, just tinkering with it and getting these, getting these foundations set in our mind so that when it is time to move forward, everything is very seamless. Um, there's no, you know, the more shadow work you do now, the less kind of blockages you're ever going to have. And that's going to be less negative feelings coming up in the future that you're going to have to deal with then, you know? So I'm really seeing this is like, even if you've done been doing shadow work already, it's kind of like go in and, you know, revisit the, the shadow work that you've already done and do some more, you know, if it, if figure out what new things can come up where that you want to, you know, do shadow work on. And if you need help with the shadow work, go to my play, uh, excuse me, not on my playlist anymore. You can go to the description box below or go to claryberry.com. Um, and you'll always find there the most up-to-date prices on all of my personal readings, my direct unlimited lifelong coaching club and my Patreon and also, um, any kind of package. And with the program, I will do the package where you can get like the program, the Aloha S switch program is what it's called. Again, you can learn about shadow work. You can learn about the holistic law of attraction. You can learn about the inner child healing work. I walk you through it. There's over 30 videos, hours and hours and hours of, um, stuff for a very good price here on how you can really change every aspect of your whole entire life. It's amazing. I'm doing it myself. I do it on a regular basis and it is vastly changing my life. So definitely check that out. If you have any questions, just email me claryberry at gmail.com. I hope that you guys really um, enjoy this reading. Again, remember our angel card was prioritize here. So again, this is prioritize your shadow work, prioritize your inner child healing, prioritize your resting and your setting boundaries for yourself, really supporting yourself first. Because remember, your partner is only ever going to be able to love you give you the love that you're already able to receive. So giving yourself the love is a good way to practice. And it's really in a, in essence, essentially what the um, inner child healing work on a you know deeper level obviously is like all about. So again, check it out, claryberry.com. You can also find me all over social media, claryberry at Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr, Pinterest, and Patreon as well. So let yourself be your highest priority to kind of sum it up. You are so important. You are queen. You are your person's, you know, angel and your person's person. <laughs> You're their partner and they are embettering themselves with every ounce of work that you do and with every ounce of effort that you put into your work. You're going to get very much, um, very much good results, you know, and that corresponding amount of results. So again, this, this is about prioritizing, you know, the boundary setting, prioritizing that self-love, that true self-love that is holistic. Again, it's not about bubble baths and, you know, painting your toenails. This is about true self-love, which is, uh, you know, getting our bodies aligned, getting this holistic law of attraction, um, getting all of our energies aligned that basically turn on that switch to where we're able to attract what we want. And it has to do with getting your emotions, your into your, uh, your mind, um, in alignment with your actions and your habits. Okay. So one last card here, just before we go to kind of wrap it up and sum it up and we got the page of cups. Okay. So that's very much, and we're kind of starting to flex our legs. We're kind of starting to figure out who we're going to be, you know, who are we truly? We're understanding who we are on a much deeper level here. And again, you're starting to kind of put these pieces together about what your real future is really going to look like and kind of work again, kind of work those kinks out, work those questions out, do that brainstorming. And it's really, really exciting. You should be really happy with your progress. You've done a lot of growth. You're going to continue to do a lot of growth and, and help a lot of people and really help the world. So so thank you guys for joining me. Let me know what you think. Stay subscribed. And again, um, hit the bell so you can be notified whenever I make new videos. I'll be making some new ones soon. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.